about 10 years ago, uh, I'd, I'd been working on set and I heard that they were going to make a Queen uh, film all about Freddie Mercury. And I just thought that would be an amazing film to, to work on. I would love to work on this film. And then in 2014, I, I got a call to it, asking if I was available to come and work on the, on the, the film. So we started um, pr like pre-production on the film, talking about how the film could be made. And then the film got shut down um, for, for various reasons and it stopped. And I was really so disappointed. I was thinking, I know what's going to happen. That they're going to start again and I won't be available the next time. So, but I, I really kept in touch with everybody and said, you know, if, if you ever want to make the film, then I, I really would love to, to do this film. And so when the film got up and running again in 2016, um, I did get the call and um, so then we started work on the film then. The challenge of making Rami sing with Freddie's voice was, was front and centre of our conversation. And it, I mean, I'm a Queen, I was always, always been a Queen fan. Who doesn't love Freddie Mercury? So it, it felt like a fantastic opportunity to work on something that would be so enjoyable anyway, listening to Queen music all day. But also I was really looking forward to the challenge of trying to trying to get that right and trying to make it good. So we spoke for a long time, didn't we? That very first yes. phone call. Yeah. That, yeah. About how, you know, how to approach that. So uh, yeah, I was very yeah. excited about it. Because we, we realized we, we essentially had three people uh, making up uh, Rami's Freddie Mercury. And so uh, I, I spoke to Nino. We had lengthy conversations about how in a movie could your lead character have three different people's voices and how the best way to, to make that feel as one cohesive voice. Throughout the sort of making the film, certainly the, the band, they, they wanted it to be more of a celebration of Freddie's life. They wanted it to be a celebration of the, the music that he created and not sort of lose sight of that. It's sometimes even now, how many months later, four or five months later, I suddenly remember that we won the Oscar and I just start smiling because I still can't believe that we won an Oscar. Yeah. Because, and so it, it, it's, it, is, it is an amazing thing to, to have gone through the whole experience of that and, and the nervousness before it as well. You know, the, the, it's something certainly that, you know, I, I've never, I don't think either of us have been through that no. sort of thing before, have we? It was lovely you know on the one side to be for your peers to actually vote for you and and feel like yeah. that your work is deserving you know is the, is the most deserving film that year um of of the award was is very very humbling but it was you know the whole thing is your life doesn't exactly change but you are kind of suddenly for for a few weeks you're put in the spotlight a little bit and people want to talk to you and they want to hear your opinions about things and you have yeah. to uh, it, that that's a bit of a learning curve when you're actually just used to being sat in a room, a dark room with headphones on or listening to your speakers and, and being very detailed with your work. You suddenly thrust into a, a slightly different kind of type of life for, for a time. But everything's kind of back to normal again now. We're working on the next movie. It's, yeah. it's back as we were. <laughs> All, almost put onto the other side of the camera of where we're used to working, yeah. this is behind the camera. <laughs> I love working with John. I'm going to say that right now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've known each other for a very long time. A very and, long time, yeah. And we've worked on various projects, but obviously it's, it's, it's Bohemian Rhapsody and our current project that we've been working so closely together um, in, that, in these roles. The great thing about working with Nina is that we have a very sort of shorthand. We both have very, very, the same sensibilities in terms of uh, being incredibly critical of things like the, the detail, the sync, and, and making things as authentic as possible. And we both really have that same desire and ambition to make things as, 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 as authentic and detailed as we possibly can. You sort of, I mean, maybe you look back and not every project you work on is Bohemian Rhapsody. There are projects that you work on and you think, this is not necessarily the best film ever, or it's been a difficult experience for various reasons. But I don't think I'd ever decide to change any of those because those things have then helped me grow. And you know, they, they've always informed your next decision-making process or uh, what you decide to do after that. So I'm not a big one for regrets, to be honest. I just, I, I kind of like to, yeah. you know, take it on the chin, think we maybe mistakes we made, maybe I would have done things differently, but actually look, look at the positives that you've received from anything. Try and get as much experience as you can as well. Try and always uh, find work, work with, uh, collaborate with other people who want to make short films, uh, doing low budget independent films, and just, just try and get as much experience as you can 
Um, but ultimately, I think when you, get, when you get to the sort of the supervisory role, you're always trying to look at the film as a bigger picture. You're not looking at these tiny little details. You are trying to see how sound can help this movie tell its story. Um, and I think it's, that's a, a valuable thing to do when you're, when you're learning. It's, it's, you can quite often get very uh, into the software or the technical sides of it, but actually it's very important to think back that this is a movie you're trying to make, it's a story you're trying to tell, and how can sound help that? If, you, if you're only thinking about the technical aspect of making a car sound like it's going really fast or something and you're not really thinking about it from the, the bigger picture of the film, then, um, then, then obviously you're missing a big, a big portion of the filmmaking process. So it's keeping an overview of that.